Welcome back to my channel. It's great to see you again. I'm so excited to be sharing with you how to import scores into the four score app. Now this app is one of my favorite apps for the iPad. I've been using it for a couple of years. The organization, the teaching tools, the learning tools. It's just an, a wonderful app all around. And I go into more of the details of how much I love this app and my favorite features um, in this full tutorial video and review. So you can check that out if you haven't already. But in today's episode, we're specifically talking about how to import those scores into the app and get started and get organized with those. So you might be starting with a paper score like this one. It's an anthology. It's a lot, a lot of paper that's taking up space on your bookshelf and you wanna digitalize that. You wanna get organized and I feel you. I wanna help you out in this video. Um, or you're starting out with a PDF that you already have saved. It's a file, it's on Google Drive or you're um, getting it from your email or it's saved as a file on your iPad already. Now with recent updates and partnerships with Fourscore, places like musicnotes.com, NoteFlight, any accounts that you have with those big sites, you can go into your account and actually import the scores directly from there and it's in your app. So I'd love to start with that um, and then we'll get into the different scenarios you might run into in, in importing your scores. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and follow along. Um, so you're just gonna go ahead and tap and then you'll get your bar up there. Um, and now you're going to go to that cloud in the top left-hand corner, right by the title to the left of it. And there you can pull up your account from musicnotes.com. I'm gonna use that as an example. And I've already logged in here, so go ahead and log in if you have an account. And it'll show up all of the scores that you have purchased on that website through the years, as long as they were on that same account. But you can also go in and then change the account to pull up your other scores if it's under a different name. So let's say I want to download Diamonds Are Forever, but I'm actually going to want to change the key, which is a really great tool. You don't have to download each PDF individually then, and then import it after you download the file on your computer. You can do that all right here in the app. It's really amazing. So let's say I actually want this to be in C minor. So we're gonna transpose and I'm going to download and then boom, go to done. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check that it popped up here. So you're gonna go to all scores and then go to newest and that should pop up as the first one. Diamonds are forever from James Bond. We love a good James Bond tune and then there it is. Since we downloaded this one from musicnotes.com, all of the information is already in there in regards to the composer, um, the genre, and the key. So it's not something that you, you won't have to manually go ahead and type in, which is really nice. Now let's go ahead and talk about our next option here. We have the file and we have the PDF, but we just need to get it into the app. So I'm pulling up this score from my email. Um, it's a file that I have, but I, now I need to share it. So it's gonna be the share icon, just like if you were to share a photograph with your friend, you wanna text it to someone. That same icon in the top right-hand corner that's going to show up, we're gonna share it to the app. So you're gonna get a couple of options here. And because I've shared to Fourscore before, that's gonna be one of the first ones. So I'm gonna to go to Fourscore, and then it's gonna open it up right up. So I actually already have this file saved, so I'm just gonna duplicate it. And then boom, there it is. Now from this point on, I'm just going to categorize it and um, put in the information for it so we can fast forward to this part. Now, if you were starting with a paper version like this one, you'll want to first scan it and then you can categorize it right in the app. No need to use a different app. Um, so go ahead and go to the toolbox icon in the top right hand corner and all of these lovely features like rearrange, take notes, crop, share, uh, piano, all those practice tools, it's gonna be in the same spot. You're gonna go to scan the camera icon, click on that. We have three options here. We can scan it, we can go to the camera app and scan it there, or we can pull from our camera roll if you have screenshots that you took from online or um, from a friend and it's already saved in your camera roll, you can actually take the JPEG files and make them into a scan. So let's go ahead and um, say that we're doing this from scratch. I have the paper score in front of me. So I'm gonna select the one that's on the very left to scan it. So from here, 
just make sure that when you're doing it, you're at a good angle, you're in good lighting. So I'm gonna retake that, that was not very good. <laughs> and it's also gonna auto capture um, and position yourself in a good way so that you have a good scan. Now you can go ahead and drag the corners just to crop it and let it be the best it can possibly be, just using the camera on the iPad. And then what you can do in the top right-hand corner, you have some options. Let's say it was not a very good scan. You can go ahead and delete it. Um, you can also retake it. You have options there. I can move it around. I can rotate it if it was actually 90 degrees off because sometimes it'll do that if you tilt the iPad when you're taking it. And now you can change with color options. So I typically change everything to black and white so that's easier to read. And you can go ahead and continue on, put the rest of the scores in there. So we're gonna go ahead and press done. And I just have two photos, um, two scans right now, but let's say that those are my pages. So if I wanted to change the order of the pages, all I have to do is just hold, drag, and move like that. Um, let's say I actually messed up the order, I missed a page, don't worry, you don't have to retake the entire uh, scan. You can just add it at the end like this, take the scan, and then, yeah, let's say that that's good, press save. I can just add that in where it needed to go. So really easy, super friendly to use, and now I'm going to click save. So I'm going to save as scan one, and I'll continue to categorize it in the app, scan one, I'm actually gonna change it, I'm gonna put the composer information, all of that um, to make my life easier. So that's how you import a score into the Four Score app in a nutshell. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. And if it did, please give this video a like. Um, subscribe to my channel for more content coming your way. I'm excited to be sharing some upcoming app reviews, tech tutorials, so stay tuned for those. If you're also interested in vocal technique, um, vocal education, check out the rest of my videos on the channel. And I hope to see you next time on Sing with Cinderella.